some of the most beloved Christian leaders are demonstrating patient endurance and faithful service. Dr. Billy Graham is one of them. He's celebrating his 95th birthday in November with a campaign that has already reached more individuals and families than all of his crusades combined. Think about it. Will Graham has followed in his grandfather's and his father Franklin's footsteps as a passionate evangelist. And David Ingram is the director of ministry for the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association in Canada, headquartered in Calgary, Alberta. Welcome, gentlemen. Oh, well, thank you so much. Now, here's the obvious first uh, thing and wonderful surprise. Our viewers are very familiar with Billy Graham's nearing home. Life, faith, and finishing well. And, you know, I guess our hearts were all saying, thank you, Dr. Graham, for this last will and testament, as it were. Well, it weren't. I understand he has finished another book. That's right. He's finished his, uh, his latest book. It's called Salvation. It's going to be released uh, here pretty soon uh, and coincide with his My Hope, his 95th birthday. And so uh, it's called Salvation. He's preached one message all these years. It's how you can know Jesus Christ and have salvation through him, that name alone. And so he, that's what that book's all about. And he's already finished it. And uh, we're going to be uh, releasing it here uh, momentarily. You know, I visited Little Piney Cove, I think it was 1992, and saw your grandma, mm -hmm. Ruth. Uh, at the time, Billy Graham was off somewhere preaching. Mm -hmm. You get to go there regularly, Will. I do. You can tell us, how is your grandfather? Well, my grandfather, uh, you know, he, he's 94, turning 95. I, I, the best way to describe my grandfather, he's in good health. He's just old. <laughs> and I mean that in, in the sense that, uh, you know, he's just... 94. Things don't work like they used to. His body's growing old, weak, um, but his mind's extremely sharp. He has no really health ailments uh, at all, just old. Things don't work. And so that's what part of this book's all about, the things that he's learned late in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, it's not all fun. He's, uh, he says it's not for sissies. No, really, it's not. He hates every old. moment of it. Uh, but he realizes God's teaching him things through it. And that God at the same time, even though he's 90, almost 95 years old, God still has a plan and purpose for him, and that's to preach the gospel. And so that's, uh, that's why I'm, I'm watching my grandfather at his age uh, finish well in life. And so it's, uh, and I live right down the road from him, so I get to spend quite a bit of time with him when I'm at home. And so it's always uh, good to see him and to be around him. Isn't it amazing, too, that the gift has been passed down through certainly this side of the family? Or at least dad, the nose has. <laughs> the nose. <laughs> Oh, Franklin and yourself, and you've really blossomed in this, Will, I have to say, since the very first time you were here on this program. And David, I, Canada is going to be a significant part mm -hmm. of Dr. Graham's birthday celebration in Absolutely. a very unique way. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Well, my hope, uh, the project is uh, being done all over North America this year, both in the U.S. and in Canada. And we're very excited about what's uh, going on in Canada. We're going to do it both in English and in French. Mm. Uh, so there will be a focus in, in Quebec and in, in the French-speaking areas as well. Uh, but we're very excited about how it's been, and been going and, and developing. Uh, we have nearly 2,000 churches right across the country uh, that have signed up to be a part of this. And uh, a real sense of enthusiasm. Uh, it's a tool that we want to work together with the church on. It's an evangelistic tool that we put in people's hands uh, to enable um, people in churches right across the country to share their faith in an effective way. It's David McFarland. Pastor David was here mm -hmm. in uh, March, mm -hmm. your director of national initiatives. Right. And you know, we needed to get the message out there so that people could begin thinking about their neighbors, mm -hmm. their friends, their associates. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that you really have thought this through. There have been other projects that involve reaching those who need to know Jesus. Uh, this one has figured out people don't have the kind of time. Mm -hmm. um, we're really asking people to come into a home for how long? Well, it's uh, really the intention is to build off relationships. Existing relationships, we tell people, think about family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, fellow students, the people around you that, that need to know Christ and need the hope of Christ. And then look for an opportunity to, well, first of all, uh, identify them and pray for them. 
uh, begin to pray that God will be working in their hearts and lives, uh, build relationship with them, uh, continue to build relationship with them, and then look for an opportunity to invite them either into your home or to a coffee shop or some other comfortable setting where you can show them the My Hope program. And you can literally sit at a computer someplace. Absolutely, yeah, it'll be available on the web as well as through DVD and, and on TV as well, but someplace where you can show them about your hope in, in, in Christ. And really, Moya, we hope that there will be a wave of hope that just goes right across the country, mm -hmm. uh, that our people will, Christians will feel excited about sharing their hope in Christ, and that people that hear it that don't know Jesus will see this as an opportunity to have hope in their lives that they don't have today. Now, someone emailed me and said, I should have brought it with me in to read it, but here's the idea. Well, you know, if, you, if I ask people I associate with, they would say they are Christians. Mm -hmm. And so I don't see how this is, you know, going to have impact. From what I've heard of this 30-minute video, I haven't mm -hmm. seen it. Mm -hmm. It is so compelling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is going to challenge. If people do not have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, they're going to know whatever they're calling themselves, they've been missing something. Mm -hmm. well, I, you know, this video is probably one of the best videos, at least in my mind, and I've seen almost everything that the Billy Graham Evangelist Association has produced. I'll bet you have. This is probably the best thing that we've ever produced. Mm. And I'm real excited. What's neat is it takes different testimonies from average people. Real life stories. Real life stories on how they came to know Christ. And there's three of them in this, in this one video. And uh, we take those three, those three stories, but through the middle of it and all the way through, you'll hear my grandfather preaching throughout different times. Mm -hmm. So it's just not looking at a picture of Billy Graham on a, on a screen and just watching him talk. It's actually videos and, and music in, interviews and then from time to time my grandfather would give the message. And a few minutes here, a minute down here, three minutes down at the end. I mean, so throughout the whole thing you'll hear Billy Graham, but you'll see exactly what my grandfather's talking about played out in these people's lives through their own testimony. To me, it's one of the best things we've ever produced, and I, I'm real excited about it. And that's not even the program that we're going to show in November. This is only the, the teaser. This is just what it's going to look like. And this that's has exciting. had impact in other countries of the world. Mm -hmm. 57 different countries, and we've seen over 10 million people come to know Jesus Christ in 57 countries. And, and you're talking about in the last 10, 12 years. My grandfather, in 60 years of preaching behind the pulpit, through, his, through radio, through television, through books, through movies, probably around about three and a half million people came to know Christ uh, th that we can, that we have the best records of, maybe three, three and a half million people to Christ. But now we've seen 10 million people come to know Christ in the last 10 years. And you don't have hope. Canada yet. So no, we're doing it, the United States either. So we're doing the U.S. and Canada All of North this, this November. Well, we have a, a wonderful video that uh, we can show you right now that m might answer some more questions you have about just how it works. Watch mm -hmm. this. Time is collapsing on us. We're like a shadow that's declining. We're all dying. From the moment you were born, you started dying. How much longer do we have? I remember the first moment when I became completely blown away and intrigued with the idea of being a magician. It all comes down to this moment. The New York Giants drafted me in the sixth round of the 2003 draft. I remember when I was 14 and I recorded my first song. It was everything that I was looking for. I just enjoyed every moment of it. I am a master of phoniness. I'm a, I'm a charlatan by craft. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be a musician for a living. I didn't even think that was possible. Do you number your days? Do you realize how important every single day is? There in my hospital room, this man walks in and he looks at me and he says, if you don't do anything, you're gonna die in two months. Well, most people would like to think that, you know, money will solve all your problems, but the money only multiplied the evils that were in my life. I'll never forget those sirens in my rear view mirror, being asked to get out that car and, uh, and them searching the car and pulling out that half a pound of marijuana. I really just felt so empty in everything. All the highs of life that I tried to experience, whether it was in drugs or sex, it was just seemed to all leave me really empty. And since there wasn't anything in life that satisfied the emptiness, I just didn't want to do life anymore. It's been hard to deal with right now. Peyton is three years old and Gavin is two years old. Our two babies, 
should this take my life early. I love you. Millions are crying, what can I do to be saved from the pressures of life? The pressures are just so great. The things that are broken in your heart and life can be restored in Christ. He wants to give you a peace and joy and assurance that if you died, you'd go to heaven. At that moment, nothing else mattered. I, I just knew I needed something more. Something you just can't explain that you have to experience where I literally felt like I was in front of the God of the universe. I just cried out in desperation and just said, God, all I know is I need you. There's a spiritual cancer that's eating us away on the inside, and we're all longing, we're all begging for someone to step in and to save us. The fact that time is short calls for us to do something about it now. No matter how much time you've wasted in the past, you can still have tomorrow. My Hope with Billy Graham, a nationwide campaign. We better include America here, a mm -hmm. continent-wide yeah. <laughs> campaign. You're already seeing uh, amazing results from uh, the initial stages mm -hmm. of this. I know people want to know, well, what's the time commitment, just how much is involved mm -hmm. if, I, if I say yes yeah. <laughs> to party with Billy Graham? <laughs> Really, the, the, the goal is to raise up what we call Matthews. Uh, you know, the story in the Bible of Matthew that when he met Jesus, uh, he was so taken by this man that he had met and it had such an impact in his life that he invited his friends over to meet Jesus and he had a party in his home. He had a dinner party in his home for, so that they could meet Jesus. And that's what we're asking people is to become a Matthew. Uh, if Jesus has touched your life, invite people into your home or into a setting where they can also meet Jesus um, as well. And so what we're asking people to do is to maybe come to a, a training session or especially pass Pastors and church leaders come to a training session where they can receive training about the My Hope Project and then they can go back to their church and recruit and uh, train Matthews uh, in their local church setting as well. And how long does that take to be ready for that event, yeah. that one time? Well, the training is only an, uh, like an evening or a, a maybe a two hour, or a 90 minute session, uh, but really getting ready for it, we hope will take a number of months because we want people, as I said, to identify uh, people around them need to know Christ, uh, to begin to pray for them, to build a relationship with them over a period of time, and then to look for an opportunity to, to share Christ with them. And you know what? We don't need to be in any way uncomfortable mm -hmm. or embarrassed about what we're presenting, even if it's a first time. And for many, it will be a first time mm -hmm. hearing of the gospel. Mm -hmm. it, it's not cheesy, it's not corny, it's compelling. Mm -hmm. And you've got the stats to prove it. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, we're just grateful for how God still works in people's lives mm -hmm. and how God, uh, you know, He's still redeeming this world and that we shouldn't be giving up on this world, even though at times we, want to, we feel like giving up. But God hasn't given up. And so we want to see God still touching people's lives, and we're grateful for that. And this is just a wonderful opportunity where you can help reach people in your own neighborhood, your own sphere of influence with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And uh, my granddaddy's going to be preaching. Mm -hmm. Or you just wanted to open up your home and throw a party and invite some friends over. You know, it's, it's so timely. Um, disaster in Alberta is the headline here on this uh, Globe and Mail from... Uh, June, but look at the article, How to Live Forever. Mm. And you know, scientists are just scrambling uh, to, to respond to our greatest fear, death. Mm. And that's exactly where that video started. Mm. Death yep. will come to all of us. And it's, for many people, number mm. one fear. And really the only answer to living forever mm -hmm. is the eternal one, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. That's right. We have the best news. Scientists don't have it. They said, okay, you want to live to 150. No, no, we can do better than that. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, this is so important, and uh, I hope you will convey, Will, our love and appreciation and admiration to your grandfather. I sure will, thank Amazing. you. Amazing. Thank you so much, and we want to give you that website because uh, you want to know more, don't you? MyHopeWithBillyGraham.ca And maybe just in the little you've heard, you're saying, I want to live forever. I want answers to my questions. Our prayer partners are here for you. Why don't you give us a call? Let's talk. We can pray with you right now. 
And uh, let's hope that this is a wave of hope, as who said that? Yeah. I know it's the vision. Mm -hmm. Right across this country, mm -hmm. this continent. Mm -hmm. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.